Hey guys, it's Sterling W. Just got the Note 20 Ultra 5G and the 5 12 gigabyte micro SD from SanDisk. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. So it's very simple. You already have the tools. You don't need a you know any more tools for this. So got my my. I already took the unboxing of this thing. So it already comes with a tool for it. So um, let's go ahead and open this guy up real fast. Ah. We did the unboxing of this, so power adapters and everything is in there. So all the stuff I already took out now. Oops, of course it's not there. It's actually hidden behind the case box. So I lift this thing out. Voila! You have that little SIM card tool. I pull this thing out, and we'll put this right here for now. And let's open this baby up. So. This thing is, you know, water resistant, waterproof, you know, waterproof, x-ray proof, all this other fun stuff. Got sound just because, well, good quality stuff. 512. Uh, let's rip open from here. And slip this baby out. Now, this is really cool because it's sealed again here. So, Okay, so, can't seem to get this thing off. Okay, that's what the multi-tool is for, in case this doesn't come off. Let's just bring... Let's, nope, too much, too much. There you go, this is right. So, let's go ahead and slice this little baby up. I don't need the uh, card, but I'll probably use it a little later, so transfer some data. So I'll slice that up too. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, this baby off. Wow, kind of bulges a little. Interesting. Very, very small. Put that down there. Take this baby off too, might as well. Because I know I'm going to lose this stuff, or I'll just take it out now. I have this on the side. These usually don't change very often, um, but since you never know. I'm going to keep the newer one close to me. Anyways, here it is, the 512 gig. Um, to open it up, I already have a, I think, 128 or something in here. So let's go ahead and, down the top of the phone, slowly, carefully push straight down to eject it. Let's eject the SIM card, and I'm going to slowly pull this thing out. I already have my Samsung 128 in here. So, very carefully pull this thing out. And I'm just gonna do a swap real fast. Pop this baby off. 120 is good, but this is way better to put 512 into my phone. Oh, that sometimes happens too. There you go. It would have been easier if I just slid that thing out temporarily and did it. But if you want to put that SIM card in or whatever, that's that's fine with me too. Okay guys, um, let's power this baby up. You could do it while it's off or on. You'll see it anyways. So here's the optimizer. Currently I'm more using 133.5 gigs on this. Of course I have a lot of videos and stuff that I transfer over from my, my older phone. But I got this because this phone could handle the you know larger space. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and stuff. Internal storage, 512 gigabytes, 133. That's pretty cool. Um, if we go into storage again, I've already formatted this card. So as you can see, I put a lot of gigs in images and a lot of gigs in video. So that's why I got this card. So now I could start recording onto my SD card. Um, SD card wise, Absolutely nothing. I just put it in. There was using like around 50 gigs or no 50 megs or so of the stuff that came came with the SanDisk. Don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and format it. So let's go ahead and format this baby right now. Um, let's go to SD card. Let's go back, advanced. Then go ahead and format this baby. SD card, format. Now I always format it before I ever use these cards because you want it to be formatted to what the phone or camera uses. 
So it's gonna take like probably a minute or so to format this 512 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD Extreme. And I got the Extreme one because when you're doing video and video recording with the uh, Samsung and stuff, it needs a fast you know write speed. So 90 megs per second should be enough. In fact, that's what it ta tells about because it does 4K, Ultra, Drone, whatever. But yeah, SanDisk is pretty cool. I did have the other one, the Samsung Evo 128. I had used this one before. It works pretty well. But this was on sale, so I decided to get one for this new one. And now I mentioned it's 512 gigs. So that would be a while before I'd need to use to upgrade this thing. So ready to use, perfect. And then done. And yeah, only uses, I, of the five 12 gigabytes, you will only be able to use 476. So maybe in our future video, I'll probably get one terabyte one when the costs go down. That would be nice that I could afford it. But for now, 512 is more than enough what I need to use for the next couple of years. I'm guessing about two years. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for the Sony W channel if you like this video. Of course, you know, stay tuned for more videos as well as check out the other videos on the Sony W channel like DIYs on how to replace your bat key fob batteries or some fun projects like LED lights, adding LED lights to your car or your house. That's really fun. Or Costco finds. I do a lot of Costco finds because I go there pretty much every few days. So if there's any fun deals, I usually post it. And of course, reviews of products I get either at Costco or Amazon or whatever else. And I'll stay, so stay tuned for more. Check it out, check it out later. Bye-bye.